Let's get in the weeds with the uh, differences between Pardot version API 3 and versions 4. Like, why do we have two API versions? And also, let's get in the weeds with a little bit of doc, because why not? The Pardot API has two different versions, and they are mutually exclusive. If you need one, you can only use that one. If you can need the other you can only use the other and the difference is dealing with unique IDs back in November 2016 a new feature was announced by Pardot called allow multiple prospects with the same email address or AMPSIA as we call it and what this basically did is this took the the con the Pardot concept of the email address is the unique key and made it no longer relevant. Now we actually have a, a true unique uh, key uh, for uh, these newer uh, Pardot accounts, and thus we don't need the, you know, the email addresses can be duplicate. So the older non AMPSIA Pardot accounts use API version 3 because the email address is still uh, your unique key. Uh, everything created since about you know November 2016, and, and some older accounts that have opted to the, the newer uh, version um, use AMPSIA and thus require Pardot version four. The people who use version three, the older accounts, they tend to like version three. Uh, the general recommendation if, is if you're on G version 3, stay on version 3 uh, unless you have a business need to go to version 4 and, and the API usage generally isn't uh, strong enough business, use, uh, business reason to upgrade. So how do we know which one we're dealing with when we're dealing with a new account? If we go into the settings, go into the account, and start scrolling down, we will see this allow multiple prospects with the same email address option and it's going to be enabled or disabled. The act of enabling it is a one-way trip. You can enable it, you can never disable it. You cannot go back. Uh, so this is that setting that we're looking for. So what's that mean for us when we're using the API? So we go to the API documentation, which is at developer.pardot.com. You'll see that there's a version 3 documentation, version 4 documentation. And if we do uh, look up a task, such as an assign a prospect, we can see with the version 3, we have the version 3 as uh, as part of the, the API uh, requirement. And then also we can assign by either email address or by Pardot ID. Compare that to version 4. See, we have version 4. We can use the Pardot ID or a CRM FID. I believe FID stands for foreign ID because, from Pardot's point of view, the CRM ID is a foreign key, unique key. So it's going to be FID. So we can use version 3. Um, version 3, we can use email address or the Pardot Prospects ID, version 4, it's the Pardot ID or the foreign CRM ID. And you can use either the contact or a lead ID um, within Salesforce. If we look at that in the object field reference, we can see that they use FID when we're dealing with any um, CRM IDs. If we look at the documentation, and it says basically if we are trying to use version 4, if we're obligated to use version 4, we will get a response back that says that we're expected to use version 4. If we try to log in with a version 3 account using a, a version 4 uh, login, we're basically trying to use login version 4, we'll get back at error code 889 saying we can't use the version 4 of the API, and this is the XML results that get back. 
So, history um, and uh, better alignment with Salesforce is why we have two different versions of the API. Version 3 is the older version. Uh, version 4 is the newer version. You can ask, you know, when was the account created? If it was created after November 2016, odds are it's version 4. If it's older than that, odds are it's version 3. Uh, and that's uh, getting into the weeds why we have two otherwise almost identical versions of the Pardot API and our friend, the Doc Scientist.